Hello followers, this is Half Man, Half Cichlid. I'm returning to my 500 gallon acrylic Bowfront Aquarium. Uh, you know, I've, I've covered a few things on this tank, a few updates in the last uh, week or so. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the, uh, the aquaponic grow bed. Uh, this thing has been in operation about uh, three years. And uh, you can see it has taken on uh, a life of its own. I've joked that I've got to go in here with a machete every few months to to uh, hack this thing back. But when I trim it, it just takes uh, a few minutes, and I've got cuttings to uh, give my friends and neighbors. Uh, but in any event, this is how I purify and reduce the ammonia and nitrate in uh, my 500 gallon uh, aquarium. The uh, plants that I have found more most effective, and I probably have tried 20 different varieties, are the pothos and also uh, vining members of the philodendron family. Uh, I'll move these aside here. Uh, for those of, of us who are in, into plants in general, and not just nitrate reduction, which I am. I mean, I, I'm a biologist, and I love, uh, love plants. So you can see I have quite a collection in here of uh, other plants that are more decorative, uh, some of which you may be familiar with, like uh, spider plants and, uh, and uh, Got some Chinese evergreen back there, some uh, dwarf papyrus. So a lot of stuff going on in here. I'm always uh, getting cuttings and trying them out. But as I mentioned, the uh, the pothos and the vining philodendron, which are mixed into these cascading vines uh, really uh, do most of the heavy lifting as far as uh, nitrate reduction. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a tub and uh, we probably have about 30 gallons of roots under these uh, baskets that the plants live in with clay balls and that's uh, what well, again does the heavy lifting as far as uh, nitrate consumption. Uh, a couple years ago I had a video on how to set how I set this thing up but just you know for those who have, who likely missed it I've got a return manifold from the sump and I've got a valve on that return manifold you can see it right there that uh, directs water to the aquaponic bed and there's an overflow in the aquaponic bed that returns the water back to the sump. So in any event, that's how it, it works. Uh, folks are always asking me, how effective is this? And uh, I can say with a, you know, these are big fish and they put off a lot of waste, a lot of food that goes into this aquarium. Uh, I change about 60% of the water three, every three weeks and uh, generally uh, my nitrates never go above uh, uh, 20 parts per million. So that's it. Give you a quick view of some of my favorite fish and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something.